With ever-increasing population of the world, enhancement in food production becomes a major necessity. To meet our food requirement, we have to develop other alternative food providing practices such as poultry, fisheries and beekeeping. As we know, apart from agriculture, poultry, fisheries and beekeeping practices also contribute significantly in generating employment opportunities. It also provides food security. But due to lack of awareness and management technologies, we are lagging behind in terms of per capita production. Hello students, I heartily welcome all of you to our today's lesson on poultry, fisheries and beekeeping. To see jande hi ho ki saade desh di population bohat zyada hai. Ate lagbag two third of our population rural areas which rehndi hai. Dino din vad rahi population diya food related needs nu pura karan lai food production nu increase karan di load hai. पर सवाल ए है कि इस नु किवे बताया जावे एज वी नो लैंड इज लिमिटेड एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी अंडरटेकन इंटेंसिव एग्रीकल्चर देयर इज लिटिल स्कोप ऑफ इंक्रीज इन द एग्रीकल्चरल फूड प्रोडक्शन इसलिए सानु फूड प्रोडक्शन नु इंक्रीज करन ले बायोलॉजिकल प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ एनिमल हस्बेंड्री वल ध्यान देन दी लोड है and the answer comes in the form of poultry fisheries and beekeeping te aao poultry nal aj da topic shuru kariye poultry is a class of domesticated birds used for food or eggs they typically include chicken and ducks and sometimes turkey and geese The word poultry often refers to the meat of only these birds but in a more general sense it may refer to the meat of other birds also Poultry products are a rich source of animal proteins fats vitamins and minerals Production of eggs and broilers on a mass scale is known as poultry farming Poultry is one of the fastest growing sector in India. India ranks 5th in egg production and 18th in broiler production in the world. Do you know how poultry farming is important to us? Let me explain. Importance of poultry farming. Poultry farming the products jive meat at the eggs rahi पोजन दी न्यूट्रिशनल वैल्यू इंक्रीज कीती जा सकदी है पोल्ट्री फार्मिंग नाल इनकम ता जनरेट हुंदी ही है नाल ही इस दा वेस्ट मटेरियल वी खाद वजो वर्त्या जा सकदा है पोल्ट्री प्रोवाइड्स लाइवलीहुड इन रूरल एज वेल एज इन अर्बन एरियाज हुन ए एक इंडस्ट्री दा रूप ले चुकी है इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ने इस नु प्रमोट करन ले एक नेशन वाइड प्रोग्राम लॉन्च किया जिसनों सिल्वर रेवोल्यूशन का ना दिता गया है ए मेनली एग प्रोडक्शन नाल रिलेटेड है इसन एग रेवोल्यूशन भी कहा जाता है सक्सैस ऑफ सिल्वर रेवोल्यूशन डिपेंड्स अपॉन पोल्ट्री ब्रीड्स डू यू नो अबाउट पोल्ट्री ब्रीड्स एनी वे लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट पोल्ट्री ब्रीड्स एक्चुअली Poultry breeds can be divided into two categories indigenous and exotic Indigenous or desi poultry breeds are Asil Chittagong Brahma etc These breeds have very strong natural immunity against common diseases but they are smaller in size grow slowly lay small sized 
and lesser number of eggs. A desi breed hen consumes about 6 kg of feed to produce 1 dozen of eggs, while a cross breed hen consumes about 2 kg of feed for producing a dozen eggs. Therefore, indigenous breeds are crossed with exotic breeds to produce more meat and eggs. In our country, high egg producing breeds are White Leghorns, Rhode Island Red, ILS 82, B77. These hens can lay 200 to 240 eggs per year. There are several exotic breeds found in India such as Bard Plymouth and Black Minorcha, etc. The Plymouth Rocks and Rhode Island Red are exotic breeds of America, while Minorcha and Legon are exotic breeds of the Mediterranean region. Overall, we can say desi breeds have a strong immune system, but the exotic breeds have the capacity to produce more meat and more eggs in comparison to desi hens. Exotic breeds consume about 2 to 3 kg of feed to provide 1 kg of meat. If we want to enhance the meat and egg production, then we have to manage our poultry farms very scientifically. Let us know about precautions taken in poultry management. Poultry Management For better poultry management, we should select the best quality of birds which can exist under reasonable environmental conditions. The poultry farm should be comfortable, well illuminated and dry. The poultry farm should be well ventilated and free from pests and rodents. Overcrowding in cages should be avoided as it increases mortality. Birds of different ages should be kept in separate houses or cages. Poultry houses and cages should be covered with tin shed or plastic sheets to protect them during winter. Poultry farm should be well facilitated with water and drainage facilities. Always ensure adequate, fresh, healthy and nutritious feed. Ensure that the water pots are adequately placed, that they are easily accessible to all birds. Regular vaccination should be given to chickens. Common vaccines such as fowl cholera vaccine should be repeated after every three months to save the chicks from fowl cholera. We should ensure that all birds are vaccinated for Marix disease and Rani Keith disease. We should also watch for early symptoms of disease in order to control them in time. Their poultry houses should be isolated to avoid danger of spread of disease. At least 100 meters distance should be maintained between one poultry farm to another poultry farm. A feeder should be about 6 cm per chick. I hope you are now well acquainted with tips for enhancing poultry production. Poultry birds are prone to several diseases like fowl pox, rani kheth, and fowl cholera, etc. Some of these diseases are fatal, but a timely vaccination of chicks can control such diseases. Tusi bird flu bare te zarur sunya hovega. Actually, a common viral disease hai, jo ki poultry birds which influenza virus A 
ਦੇ ਇਨਫੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਾਰਨ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਬਰਡ ਫਲੂ ਨੂੰ ਏਵੀਅਨ ਇਨਫਲੂਐਂਜ਼ਾ ਵੀ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੇਸਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਨਫੈਕਟਿਡ ਬਰਡਸ 48 ਘੰਟਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਅੰਦਰ ਮਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਬਟ ਮਾਈਲਡ ਸਿਮਟਮਸ ਆਫ ਬਰਡ ਫਲੂ ਆਰ ਰਫਲਡ ਫੈਦਰਸ ਰਿਡਿਊਸਡ ਐਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਰੈਸਪਿਰੇਟਰੀ ਏਲਮੈਂਟ while in severe cases of bird flu there is a serious respiratory infection attacking other organs and tissues of bird leading to immense internal hemorrhaging after poultry let's know about beekeeping beekeeping is also known as apiculture it is the maintenance of hives of honey bees for the production of honey or in simple words rearing of bees for honey and wax and other products is known as apiculture honey has high nutritive and medicinal value honey bees also produce bees wax which is very useful in the preparation of cosmetics and polishes this not only increases the demand for beekeeping but also motivates bee farmers for large scale beekeeping practices beekeeping kithe vi kiti ja sakdi hai paave pasture land hove wild shrub land fruit orchards ja cultivated land itho tak ki bee hives nu courtyards ghar de vede ja chhat te vi rakhya ja sakda hai is kithe vich bahut kat labor di lod hundi hai ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਬਤੌਰ ਕਾਟੇਜ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਡਿਵੈਲਪ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਨਾਲ এমਪਲੋਇਮੈਂਟ ਜਨਰੇਟ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਰੂਰਲ ਏਰੀਆਸ ਦੇ ਗਰੀਬ ਅਤੇ ਲੈਂਡਲੈਸ ਫਾਰਮਰਸ ਲਈ ਬੀ ਕੀਪਿੰਗ ਲਈ ਹਨੀ ਬੀਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਸਪੀਸੀਜ਼ ਯੂਜ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਕਾਮਨ ਸਪੀਸੀਜ਼ ਆਪਿਸ ਇੰਡਿਕਾ ਹੈ ਬੀਸ ਆਪਣੇ ਹਾਈਵਸ ਬਾਕਸਸ ਵਿਚਲੇ ਫਰੇਮ ਤੇ ਡਿਵੈਲਪ ਕਰ ਲੈਂਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਅਪੀਅਰੀਸ ਵੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਬਾਕਸਸ ਨੂੰ ਫੀਲਡਸ ਗਾਰਡਨਸ ਜਾਂ ਕਲਟੀਵੇਟਡ ਏਰੀਆ ਦੇ ਨਜ਼ਦੀਕ ਜਾਂ ਰੋਡ ਦੇ ਸਾਈਡ ਤੇ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਐਕਸਪਲੋਰ ਮੋਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੀ ਅਪੀਅਰੀ ਐਨ ਅਪੀਅਰੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੁਡਨ ਬਾਕਸ ਇਨ ਵਿਚ ਸੈਵਰਲ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਆਰ ਕੰਬਾਈਨਡ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ it contains a flow board and brood chamber for laying the eggs of honey bees a brood chamber contains several frames these frames are used by bees to develop their hives a super chamber is fixed in an apiary for collecting nectar inner chamber has several holes for ventilation The outer cover is made of steel as steel is waterproof and rust proof and it gives complete protection to the apiary Thereafter three types of bees are inserted in the apiary box Queen bee is the main member and is a fertile female Drones are the male bees they work as soldier of the hive the last category is of the worker bees these are sterile females and are mainly engaged in collecting the nectar queen is generally single in the family its life span is about 2 to 3 years while the drones are 1000 to 2000 in number and the life span is less than 2 months but the worker bees are more than 10000 in the family their life span is about 4 to 6 weeks in the apiaries nectar is collected by worker bees and stored in combs and finally we get the nectar from bee hives I hope now you are familiar with the rearing method of honey bees. So now let us know about some common species of honey bees. Species of honey bees. 
there are five common species of honey bees found all over the world namely apis floria apis serena apis dorsata apis mellifera and trigona iridipennis of these apis serena and apis mellifera are mainly reared in india there are several other honey bee species that are reared by communities for honey production most beekeepers in india rear apis serena apis dorsata is a giant honey bee apis dorsata workers are about 1 inch long they make a single comb usually on a tree branch and usually 10 to 60 feet from the surface of the ground apis mellifera is commercially reared for honey production in north himalayan states of india apis floria is also known as the dwarf honey bee or the red dwarf honey bee as it appears small in size after knowing the bee species let us become familiar with the scientific bee keeping practices such as the nature and habits of bees we should select a suitable location for keeping the bee hives locations should not be too close to human habitat we must have knowledge about the apiary for rearing honey bees we have to develop apiaries means the hive boxes so let us explore more about apiary an apiary should be simple and well structured its top bars must be thick and long to support a heavy honey comb the hive should be protected from direct sunlight and pests like ants wax moths spiders and large hive beetles which may attack the honey combs we should prevent the hive from overcrowding before putting a swarm of bees in a prepared hive it would be beneficial to make the hive smell familiar by rubbing old brown comb pieces if possible we should feed the swarm of bees on a solution of white sugar in hot water for a few weeks this will also help in building the comb more rapidly while cutting the comb we should take special precautions in wearing of clothes and helmet smoking method is the best method for extracting the honey we should also take precaution in the storing of honey honey storing pot should be waterproof do you know bees are the pollinators of many of our crop species such as sunflower apple and pear keeping bee hives in crop fields during flowering period increases pollination efficiency and improves the yield benefits both from the point of view of crop yield and honey production i hope you are now well acquainted with beekeeping now let us know about fishery fishery is an industry devoted to catching processing or selling of fish shellfish and other aquatic animals a fishery has an important place in indian economy it provides income and employment to millions of fishermen and farmers particularly in the coastal states for many it is the only source of livelihood let us explore more about fishery a large part of a population is dependent on fish fish products and other aquatic animals such as prawn 
crab, lobster, edible oyster, etc. for food. Some of the freshwater fishes which are very common include katla, rohu and common carp. Some of the marine fishes that are eaten include hilsa, sardines, mackerel and pomfrets. Some marine species are used as medicine. Species of whales, seals and oysters are used for cosmetics, perfumes, lubricants, varnishes, soap etc. while several inferior quality fishes and fish waste products are used to prepare glue, livestock feed and fertilizers. Goldfishes are used for experiments and medical research. In order to meet the increasing demands of fisheries, different techniques have been employed to increase production. For example, through aquaculture, we have been able to increase the production of aquatic plants and animals, both freshwater and marine. Do you know the difference between pisciculture and aquaculture? Anyway, let us see the difference. Pisciculture is a scientific method of fish farming. In this method, fishes are reared in rice fields, ponds, lakes, brackish water, sea water and other water bodies. While aquaculture is a type of farming in which aquatic plants and animals are reared in aquariums, ponds, lakes and other water bodies. Mariculture refers to aquaculture practiced in marine environments. Particular kinds of aquaculture include alga culture, which is the production of seaweed and other algae. Fish farming, shrimp farming, oyster farming, the growing of cultured pearls and the growing and selling of ornamental fish etc. are activities included in alga culture or mariculture. So we can say fish farming is the principal form of pisciculture while other marine methods may fall under mariculture. Fish farming involves rearing of fish commercially in tanks, enclosures and fish hatcheries usually for food. The most common fish species reared by Indian fish farmers are Katla, Rohu, Carp, Hilsa, Sardines, Mackerel and Pomfrets. To fulfill the demand of fish and fish protein, Indian government launched a program named Blue Revolution. This revolution was started to increase the fish production either through aquaculture or through mariculture. The main motto of Blue Revolution was to increase the fish production at any cost. This has led to the development and boom in the fish industry and it has brought a lot of income to the farmers in particular and the country in general. Today. India is pushing ahead with Blue Revolution, the rapid increase of fish production in small ponds and water bodies is a boon to small farmers, the nation's nutrition and gross domestic product of India. I hope now you are familiar with poultry, fisheries and beekeeping. But before winding up the topic, let us summarize.
ਅਸੀਂ ਕਹਿ ਸਕਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਪੋਲਟਰੀ ਬਰਡਸ ਦੀ ਐਕਸਟਰਾ ਕੇਅਰ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਚੰਗੇ ਸਪੇਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਏਅਰੀ ਅਤੇ ਹਾਈਜੀਨਿਕ ਸ਼ੈਲਟਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਪੋਲਟਰੀ ਬਰਡਸ ਨੂੰ ਰੈਗੂਲਰ ਇੰਟਰਵਲ ਤੇ ਵੈਕਸੀਨੇਟ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਕਾਮਨ ਇਨਫੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਅਤੇ ਡਿਜ਼ੀਜ਼ਸ ਪ੍ਰਤੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਇਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਹੋਵੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬੀ ਕੀਪਿੰਗ ਲਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰ ਮੈਨੇਜਮੈਂਟ ਦਾ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਵੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਐਗ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਵਧਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਸਾਡੀ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਸਿਲਵਰ ਰੈਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਨਾ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਦ ਕਿ ਫਿਸ਼ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਐਨਹਾਂਸ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਬਲੂ ਰੈਵੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਟੂ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਲੈਸਨ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਕੁਇਕ ਟੈਸਟ ਫॉर ਯੂ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਆਊਟ ਹਾਊ ਮਚ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਐਬਜ਼ਾਰਬਡ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਇਜ਼ ਵਿਚ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਹਨੀ ਬੀ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋਨ ਐਜ਼ ਦੀ ਜਾਇੰਟ ਰੌਕ ਬੀ ਆਨਸਰ ਆਪਿਸ ਡੋਰਸੇਟਾ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋਨ ਐਜ਼ ਜਾਇੰਟ ਰੌਕ ਬੀ ਮਾਈ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਇਜ਼ ਵਿਚ ਹਨੀ ਬੀ ਸਪੀਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਮੋਸਟ ਕਾਮਨਲੀ ਰੇਅਰਡ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਦੀ ਆਨਸਰ ਇਜ਼ ਆਪਿਸ ਸਿਰੇਨਾ ਇਜ਼ ਮੋਸਟ ਕਾਮਨਲੀ ਰੇਅਰਡ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਮਾਈ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਇਜ਼ ਨੇਮ ਦ ਟਾਈਪਸ ਆਫ ਬੀਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਇਨ ਅ ਹਾਈਵ ਦੀ ਆਨਸਰ ਇਜ਼ queen bee drone and worker bees are the members of a colony of bees the next question is what is poultry farming answer production of eggs and broilers on a mass scale is known as poultry farming next question Bird flu is a viral disease or a bacterial disease? Answer. Bird flu is a viral disease. The next question is define apiculture. Answer. Rearing of bees for honey and wax and other products is known as apiculture. Next question. How many types of honey bees are found all over the world? Name them. Answer. There are 5 species of honey bees found all over the world, namely Apis floria, Apis serena, Apis dorsata. Apis mellifera and Trigona iridipennis Next question Name the revolution that is concerned with enhancement of egg production Answer Silver revolution is concerned with enhancement of egg production The next question is Name the revolution that is concerned with enhancement of fish production Answer Blue revolution concerns with enhancement of fish production The next question is What is pisciculture Answer Pisciculture is a scientific method of fish farming. In this method, fishes are reared in rice fields, ponds, lakes, brackish water, sea water and other water bodies. Next question. Name any 3 fish breeds found in India. Answer. Hilsa sardines and mackerel I hope you enjoyed the lesson thank you for your attention and see you next time goodbye